what's up guys how y'all doing come back at y'all with another youtube video so today i'm gonna be doing a back workout so i'm gonna show y'all what i do to get that thick wide juice thing feel me gotta get a nice look at that <laughs> to be masculine or feminine too shit i mean the back looks you know good on anybody no matter if you tall, short, wide, skinny, bigger, you know. Like, bro, who don't want to see them back muscles when you flex them things? That's why I just see them right now. Yeah, definitely did. But yeah, like, the muscle did just like, you know, like, oh! Boy, they look good whenever you see the pictures or videos of them things. I ain't going to cap. <laughs> Especially, like, like, and you know what's more satisfying? Like, when you're big, like, they look like you like, yeah, it's a big-ass bag. But like, when you cut down, and you get lean, you lose the fat and shit, and then the muscles pop out. Oh, oh, my That's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to say Jesus name in vain. My goodness. Yeah, that's the right thing. But like, bro, I'm telling y'all, like, whew, like, I know my back be looking juicy. I ain't gonna cap. Y'all can disagree with me, but I know my shit look good. Like, ooh. I don't know. It's something about that thing. Like, I'm like, come on, motherfucker. Stab me with a knife. I'll show you how strong my shit is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. But, yeah, so, um, let me stop yapping. I don't know, y'all need to let me know if y'all like me yapping or not. Because, look, I think, I, I think I'm funny and entertaining. But, yeah, so, I'm going to put y'all through this back workout and, you know, try to be informative or, you know, work my ass off. Get y'all motivated to do the same shit, too. And get that thick, juicy, strong thing. So... With that being said, let's get into the back workout. All right, so I decided to end up doing a voiceover over the workout because I was really locked in and I did not feel like talking. So yeah, just to let y'all know about that. So um, for the workout, and I start off with pull ups, you know, just simple pull ups, um, shoulder width apart type grip, a little wider, but. You're more strong like that in my opinion um i used to do these all the time especially when i started my bulk last year and my back grew from it so i have to make sure i started doing them again i either been doing them after my workouts sometimes or i haven't been doing them at all so i gotta make sure i start incorporating those uh pull-ups again because it's a good movement and it's a helpful you know exercise to grow your back so I encourage y'all, if y'all can, to do it. Um, if you have, like, an assisted pull-up machine or dip, I mean, this, it'll be on the same machine, but make sure y'all can incorporate that if y'all can. I encourage y'all. And work y'all way up to actually doing the pull-up. Um, for the next exercise, I did single arm dumbbell rows. It's, like, more the mass movement or heavier exercise. Set-wise, I'm doing... Um, I do about two sets of failure, and I like doing these because, you know, it can target your lats more. Um, there's a difference between, like, you know, targeting your lats when you do pull-ups, lat pull-downs, and then doing them when you're doing, like, a roll machine because of the, the way it makes your muscle pop out. So, like, basically, okay, when you're doing them, the way I was doing it, like, rolling it to my pocket, it'll make your lower lat, like pop out more without even having to flex and then like say you roll it at like with your elbow going at a 45 degree angle it'll target like your upper back more real delts mm -hmm. stuff like that so mm -hmm. that's that um i made sure when i did the failure to count mm -hmm. both sides because you know you want to try to get the equal amount of strength or muscle on the same mm -hmm. side because you don't want to do like mm -hmm. One side you hit 13 reps, and then another side you hit 10. And it's like, oh, my shit. Like, one side's on another. So, 
I mean, to be honest, most of the time, it might not be like that. It'll either be, like, maybe one rep off, like, you might get 14 on one side and 13 or, like, 10 and 9, which that's not bad at all. But, you know, the goal is at least to try to get the same amount on both sides. I did a little flexing just to where, you know, I could grow my lats and all that good stuff. Get the blood flow in there, you know. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, so now, going to the back machine. Um, you know, my gym has like two or three back machines. And they're not the best. I'm going to be honest. They're not the best compared to the ways people my age and in this generation can live nowadays. But um, you got to work with what you have. So that's the goal. Right? So now I'm... Um, Doing the back rows with a pronated grip, which mm. it means my hands are going to be, you know, like, regular, the way they're looking. No. Um, I did two sets of failure. No. When I pull it, I want to squeeze at the top, you know, just to grow that back no. for whenever I flex it. And then I wanted to have a slow eccentric movement so mm. I can stretch out my back and, you know, mm. make sure I'm actually feeling the workout and not just you know doing the fucking movement just to do it you know um that shit did whip my ass not gonna lie to y'all but it's gonna be worth it at the end of the day because i just want to grow and i just want to look good and get stronger right so i'm doing the little pose real quick too <clears throat> gotta keep on working on that when i pose i feel like i'm good but then sometimes I'm like, not so good. But you keep on progressing every day. On my back, looking a little, you know, good. It's wide, kind of thick. Got a little fat on it, but it, it is what it is. It's going to be worth that day in the cut. So, yeah. Um. So, for the last exercise, I'm doing lat pull-downs. Um, you could do a normal grip, as in, like, shoulder width apart. But a little more wider because you'll be more stronger and it'll, is it, it'll work your lats. It'll work your lats. But I discovered not that long ago, like, to, I just want to try something different. So I did, like, a wider grip and I feel it good, too. It's amazing. I like how it feels. So I started to incorporate those, too. And, hey, it gets your lats fucking popping. I mean, y'all see it for yourselves. Incorporate them things. Change it up. Make your back. Get confused. Just like any other movie. So, yeah, um, why the hell my traps look like that? Um, so that's basically most of the back workout. About to do a little flex, lat spread. Boom! There y'all go. So, that's the back workout put y'all through. Um, so, kind of, as I'm talking right now, like for the outro, I know what I'm going to do. So it's like when y'all see the video, I don't know how to explain it. But basically I'm gonna be doing a voiceover, which when y'all see the video, y'all gonna have known I did the voiceover already, but that's what I'm planning to do. Cause you know, it's just locked in this workout and I just wanted to get it over with and all that stuff. Plus I did a little bit of chest too. I'm gonna end up doing a video like that for y'all chest and back, which is like, well, it's fucking porn. Damn. I was wondering why it sounded like that. At two in the morning. Oh, we. Okay, but yeah, besides that, uh, that's the south for you. That's the weather in the south. In the end of March. Plus, it was cold a couple days ago. Like, yeah. Living in Louisiana, right? Yeah, okay. I'm going all talk off topic but yeah so um that's the bag workout like i said i'm doing a voice over because i was locked in just trying to get this stuff done with <sighs> had a little long day to work you know been trying to get my stuff right to school and all that but sometimes you know i'm lost and confused and i don't know what i'm doing sometimes you know just from a life perspective you know not even just school or this stuff or sometimes i'm like what do i do not much of like giving up, sometimes a little bit. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, to be honest. 
sometimes it's like I know I'm better than that, you know, and I know God has a purpose for me and it's just, you know, the enemy that's just trying to get at me, but just trying to stay disciplined, obedient, you know, to the plan. It's going to be tough. The path not going to be, you know, that nice, smooth, concrete, you know, but it's going to be bumpy. That bitch is going to be gravel with potholes. Motherfucker, they're going to have weeds in that bitch. Like, like not, you know, we like the, the, the shit that grow. You know, they're going to have fucking mudslides, fucking tornadoes, hurricanes, fucking earthquakes in this bitch. Like, that shit going to be tough. But guess what? You know who holding my hand? The Lord. The Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, I said it. Jesus Christ. Man, just hold my hand with me through it all. And he gonna do the same for all y'all. Because he loves y'all too. You know? But yeah. um, Just keep on doing this grinding stuff. Even though it gets hard sometimes. And I don't know what I'm doing. But you know, gotta pray about it. Surround myself with people that are confident and know what they're doing in life. You know, look up to influencers, millionaires, successful people, Christian people. Not even Christian people, people that love God, people that follow God, you know. But yeah, so I'm doing the outro, I'm trying to get this out quick and finish this because I gotta get home before I don't be able to drive at all. So yeah. So, I just want to say thank y'all for watching, guys. And if y'all made this far, I really appreciate y'all. If y'all don't mind, please like and subscribe for your boy. And God bless y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.